welcome to chemistry lover and here in this video i am going to uh, discuss about how you can calculate the number of metal metal bonds that is the metal metal bond order in a certain complex because uh, question comes from this particular topics in different exams so the discussion i want to start with this uh, representative example of diuranium uh, octachloro complex with two minus negative charge so before uh, discussing about how we have to calculate the number of metal metal bonds first we have to look into the bonding in this complex because we need to know the orbitals involved uh, which will form the metal metal bonds in this regard uh, knowing the structure of this complex is very important so uh, i have written all the things so you can see the rhenium and chlorine the bond the rhenium chlorine bond is formed by basically the dsp2 hybrid orbitals of rhenium so rhenium has uh, d orbitals and s and p orbitals so uh, the d orbital that is the the orbital which is along the x and y axis that is the dx square y, y square orbital and all the s and p orbitals they will make this make this sp dsp2 hybrid so this p is actually px py these two orbitals the s orbital and the dx square y square orbital they will form the four hybrid orbitals and that four four hybrid orbitals are used to form this uh, rhenium chlorine bonds right so i have written these are the orbitals now uh, you can see after using all these orbitals these are the orbitals the dz square dx xz dyz and dxy these orbitals are left on each of the rhenium so they will be ut utilized to form the rhenium rhenium bond the dz square and pz orbital which is also not used uh, yet so these two orbitals will form a dp hybrid and uh, one of these hybrid orbitals is used to form the rhenium rhenium sigma bond so you can see this is the sigma bond this is one of the lobe of the dp hybrid orbital this is another lobe and same with the other rhenium atom so the opposite lobes this one and this one they are not used in bonding but these two lobes are used for the sigma bond formation so you can see the uh, hybrid orbital actually you can see this one of these hybrid orbitals will form the sigma bond and the other hybrid orbital will remain in the opposite side this and this after formation of the sigma bond now you can see the next orbitals which we are going to use is dxz and dyz so they are also towards the z axis because these z components are there and they are used to form the pi bond so this is the schematic representation of pi bond and this orbital may be dxz or it may be dyz so two pi bonds will form between these two rhenium atoms so besides sigma bond there will be two pi bonds now after all this there will be uh, another orbital which is there on each rhenium and that is the dxy orbital this is on the xy plane so if this uh, complex attain this geometry that all the chlo uh, chlorine of uh, the rhenium chlorine bond of this rhenium and this rhenium they are eclipsed and not staggered then these two orbitals the d uh, sorry these are dxy okay so dxy of one rhenium and the dxy of other rhenium they will also be eclipsed and they are perfectly parallel to form the overlap so you can see this lobe can overlap with this lobe and this and this so this overlap is possible so this will form the delta bond and this is the new type of bond which you are uh, encountering in this metal metal bonding you have never uh, heard of this type of bonding the delta bond you know about pi bond and sigma bond but this is the new type of bond so this is how this delta bond will form now so we have all these orbitals and uh, we can say that so after uh, looking at all this bonding pattern we can say that the rhenium rhenium or in general the metal metal bonding is actually sigma pi delta type so this is the type of bond which we will found in any metal metal bonding and this is the energy level diagram so you can see the sigma orbital will have the lowest energy then 
pi bond and then the delta bond and again uh, then it is a delta star pi star and sigma star so these all are anti-bonding orbitals and these three actually two pi bonds are there so these four are the bonding orbitals and these are the anti-bonding orbitals now if i consider the case of rhenium uh, dynu dirhenium uh, octachloro complex so so now we come to the point that how we can calculate the number of metal metal bonds or the bond order so for that we have to consider all the rhenium chlorine bond as the dative bond so dative bond means the cl minus will form the bond with rhenium 3 plus but before that we have to calculate how we can calculate the oxidation state of the rhenium that you can do very easily so the overall charge of this complex is minus 2 so minus 2 equal to if we consider the oxidation state of rhenium as x so 2 into x plus each chlorine will have minus 1 charge so minus 1 into 8 so we get 2x is equal to minus 2 plus 8 or 6 or x is equal to plus 3 so that's how we get plus 3 oxidation state for each rhenium now rhenium is a uh, is a family member of manganese family that means the outer orbital of rhenium has a total of seven electrons but now it is in plus three oxidation state so we will have seven minus three is equal to uh, four electrons so each rhenium three plus will have four electrons right so now total number of electrons is eight and that eight eight electrons we have to fill into this sigma pi and delta orbitals so how we can fill it so we can fill it like sigma two pi 4 delta 2 so now the bond order becomes 2 plus 4 plus 2 by 2 is equal to 4 so the bond order is here 4 so it involves a delta bonding right so all the bonding orbitals are filled and all the anti-bonding orbitals are empty so the bond order is now 4 so this is how in general we have to calculate the bond order now let us look into some other examples so this one is with molybdenum uh, this is the hypophosphate uh, uh, anion is there so here again we can calculate the oxidation state and the oxidation state will be plus 3 because if 2x minus actually minus plus minus 4 into 4 into minus 2 is equal to minus 2 right so now it becomes 2x is equal to uh, 6 or x is equal to 3 so it will have plus 3 oxidation state so plus 3 means total number of electron will be 3 plus 3 6 because molybdenum is uh, molybdenum its outer orbital has a total of 6 electrons it is a chromium family member so 6 minus 3 is 3 so 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 so now the 6 electrons we have to fill into this bonding so sigma 2 pi 4 delta 0 so the bond order becomes 4 plus 2 by 2 is equal to 3 so there is no delta bond it has bond order of 3 now another complex molybdenum 2 in this case the ligand is sulfate and here the charge is minus 3 so here if we calculate the oxidation state it is 2x plus 4 into minus 2 is equal to minus 3 or 2x is equal to uh, so it is 5 plus 5 so average of so total so x becomes plus 2.5 so each molybdenum is having average of plus 2.5 oxidation state or we can consider one molybdenum in plus 3 and another one is plus 2 but we have to deal with the total number of electrons right so the total number of electron is one molybdenum will have three electrons another will have two electrons so total number of electron is five and that we can fill like sigma 2 pi 4 delta 1 and the bond order will be 2 plus 4 plus 1 by 2 that is uh, 7 by 2 which is 3.5 so in this case it is a bond order of 3.5 so we will see some more examples uh, you can see this is another example of rhenium complex so in this case uh, we get average oxidation state of again 2.5 you can calculate in a similar way and that will give a total of 9 electrons in this complex so now that the nine electron electrons we can fill like sigma 2 pi 4 del, uh, delta 2 and in this case we have to also use uh, delta star orbital that is the anti-bonding orbital so while calculating bond order we will have minus 1 and that will give a bond order of 3.5 
another complex is uh, this one where we can get the oxidation state of plus 2 for each rhenium and here total there are 10 number of electrons and we can fill it like sigma 2 uh, pi 4 delta 2 and delta star 2 in this case two electrons are there in the anti in the antibonding delta star orbital and so we will have minus 2 so the bond order becomes 3 and this is the last example with tungsten so in this case also uh, the oxidation state will be plus 3 for tungsten so each tungsten will have 3 electrons and total of 6 electrons that we can fill like sigma 2 pi 4 delta 0 and we can get bond order of 3 so this is very simple the calculation is very simple you can see we have to determine the oxidation state of the metal then we have to calculate the number of electrons which will be used for the metal metal bond formation and accordingly we have to fill into this uh, sigma pi delta orbitals and then we can easily calculate the bond order for each case so i hope that you understood that how you have to calculate the thing so thank you for watching best of luck